Okay, so this is Microsoft Surface. The first app that we're looking at here is a water attractor app. I can interact with the water and a lot of physics and things are happening under the covers here to get this behavior. Um, the actual device doesn't use a uh, touch screen. It's quite robust and the, there's five different cameras in here that actually operate and see vision. That's why I can mo modify the water just by shaking my hand along the top here without actually touching the screen. Jumping into some of the applications that we've built, we can see the other capabilities that this, this uh, platform offers. What we've done here is leverage virtual earth over a map um, to provide easy zooming out and in uh, functionality. And we've built a custom gesture here where I can pan the map simply by holding my hand down and then using a, using a finger. Um, there's some interesting things that we've built in here that leverage the XNA engine from the Xbox um, to be able to let people see, for example, what uh, the inside of a building would look like. Here we've modeled 3D CAD drawings of Dubai and rendered those on top of the map. We can overlay images on top of these as well. And in this case, I'm going to go inside this building and do a, do a, a virtual tour. Um, if anyone's familiar with uh, Wolfenstein or Doom applications um, and that 3D effect of how you can walk through walls, very similar to that. Um, like I said, it uses the Xbox game engine. Scrolling along, I can take a look at this apartment and maybe I want to fly through this window and actually go right in. Um, so I can walk through the hallway, check out the kitchen, and finally into the bedroom. And then if I actually want to look around the room, I could do that as well and examine the art on the wall, the detail of the, the kitchen furniture, um, the closets, and finally the furniture over here.